Well, good morning and welcome here to the chapel of St. Pascal Veilon Church on the east side of St. Paul. I'm Deacon Richard Moore and thank you for joining me for some time of reflection and prayer for the 10th week of Ordinary Time, the Monday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time. I finally get to wear green at so many feasts, but now I get to wear green. So let us start in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of wisdom and love, source of all good, send your spirit to teach us your truth and guide our actions in your way of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in every affliction, so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope is for you, for you is firm, for we know that you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song is from the 34th Psalm. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the peace of the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. And he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted,
for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I always love Paul's letters when they start out. He's very gracious and lavishes praise and blessings upon those he's writing to. And we know that these letters were written as a way to encourage the communities to keep the faith alive, but also to correct them. But he doesn't jump right in and say, you know, you're doing this X, Y, Z wrong. Take care of it. Fix it. No, he starts out very flattering, very gracious. A lot of times he'll start out and say all the good things that they're doing. And then he'll get to those things that they have kind of drifted away as a community from the being disciples of Jesus. And in this one, he's, he's talking about how he and Timothy and others have, have given of themselves, suffered great hardship for them. And today we see this, the Beatitudes of Jesus. And they call us Put others before us, to, to feel others' pain, to have compassion, to journey with people in these tough moments of life, as Paul, in a sense, is trying to do here through his letters. He's trying to journey with those communities and be with them, even though he can't physically be with them. I think these days, it just seems to me, there needs to be more gracious greetings of others, more putting others before ourselves. Common courtesy, I guess you could call it. Seems like we're maybe a little shy of that these days. And maybe we, as Christians, disciples of Jesus, that are called to these Beatitudes, could lead our our society and the people around us into this type of behavior, common courtesy, putting others before ourselves. I think a great way to start is in our prayer. Like Paul obviously prayed for these communities, even though they may be wandering and maybe probably upset him and anger him all the work he'd done. Paul is very passionate about that, but he. I'm sure he spent so much time in prayer, and he says how he prays for these communities, even in trying to correct them. But I think an intercessory prayer is a beautiful way to start, to put others' concerns, others' health matters, health, whatever it is, ahead of our own. To spend time praying for others instead of ourselves. I think that's the first step in, in doing these Beatitudes, but then we take it beyond that, that everywhere we go, whatever we do, whether we're driving our car, going into the store, that we just take a moment or just talk, you know, just relax and put others before us. If somebody needs to merge in, just let them merge in. Hold the door for somebody. Greet them with a hello and a good day and, you know, how are you doing? Give them a smile. Make them know that you recognize their worth as a child of God. It doesn't take much, but I see it in people's faces when I do these little things. They light up. So let us take the lead in doing it. And maybe it'll rub off, and others will pick it up. And we'll have maybe just a slightly gentler, kinder society. Maybe we could call it even a the attitude, society. And 
as I said, part of our work as Christians is praying for others, putting others' concerns ahead of us. So let's do that right now. Lord, we pray for our church that we can be people of the Beatitudes in service of others. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our leaders that they too can work for others, put others' concerns ahead of their own. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our community of St. Paschals, that the Lord would enliven us, enrich us, send the Holy Spirit to move us to service. We pray to the Lord. I'd like to pray for the school children who are in their last week of school and their summer may be a time of relaxation, a time of recognizing the presence of Christ and the beauty around them and the people around them. We pray to the Lord. Pray for those that are sick and suffering in any way, that the Lord Jesus would comfort them, strengthen them, and heal them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those that have died and gone before us, that they would be in the loving embrace of Jesus forever. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, we offer you these prayers confident that you are listening, and we offer them through our Lord, your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now pray in confidence the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in the joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. And if somebody's with you, share some peace with them, a sign of peace. Let us all just take a moment now to pray for each other and pray for those that we know need peace in their life. Let us join together in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may your healing love turn us from sin and keep us in the way that leads to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Well, have a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you for viewing. And remember, let's be people of the Beatitudes. And just a quick note, I am planning to continue these video prayer services. I guess I'll kind of monitor how many people are watching and if it gets down to one or two views, then maybe I need to stop. But I, my intention is to keep going and keep doing these. 
Hopefully it's given you some benefit. I've had people that have told me that they do enjoy them. So thank you for watching. And let us pray together. And let us be people of the gospel. Have a great day.